Hey folks, it's Dr. Sam and I'm on my morning walk. I received a question from Brent on Instagram about gas permeable contact lenses. So if you've been diagnosed with astigmatism, gas permeable lenses are the best choice because it's gonna give you the most stable, clear eyesight. You know, those of you that have astigmatism and, and you tried soft contact lenses, you will know that your visual acuity is less stable and that's very, very frustrating. In addition, gas permeable lenses are made of a material which allows your cornea to breathe the oxygen in. This is so important to reduce things like dry eye syndrome, eye infections, and improve your ocular microbiome. You know, that's the good bacteria in your eyes. So it's gonna give you a healthier eye, lymph, and immune system by allowing the oxygen to come into your eyes, especially the cornea. Now, from a more holistic perspective, it's important to take your gas permeable lenses off and allow your eyes to breathe and have a different perspective with the eye-brain connection. You know, we can get very unconscious with our contacts and wear them all the time, and we think our eyes are doing well. So I always say take your contacts off in the evening, in non-demanding, non-threatening situations, and it gives your eye brain a different perspective. Okay, one last point, and this is very important. You know, when you go for a regular eye exam and the doctor is correcting you for distance using gas permeable contact lenses, that prescription is going to be too strong for you when you're doing your digital time and it's actually gonna induce your eyes to get worse. Now there is the conversation that gas permeable lenses does slow down the deterioration of your refractive error, but if you're using a distance prescription for your digital time, it is definitely going to induce uh, your eyes getting worse. So this is why I would recommend wearing something reduced over the contact lenses in a blue blocker filter especially for your digital time. And this actually will prevent your eyes from getting worse. You know, another technique that I use is sometimes I will undercorrect somebody just slightly in the distance with their gas permeable lenses. But what that does is it slows down the deterioration in the over 40 syndrome. We call this presbyopia. And I've had hundreds of patients over the years uh, come back and say, you know, I don't need to use reading glasses, especially people in their 40s, 50s, and even 60s, because I've cut back on the distance prescription a little bit, and it gives their visual system and focus a little more versatility instead of giving them the super strong lens for distance. So overall, two thumbs up for gas permeable lenses. Use them in moderation like anything else. Thank you so much for the question, Brent. Take care and have a great day, everybody.